Clothier. I'm the um, third generation cheesemaker um, at Wyke Farms in Somerset. We're an award winning cheesemaker that's been making cheese for over 150 years. Um, my grandmother really developed the recipe that we use for the cheddar and we keep it in the safe here and the lock and key and we've won many prizes over the years for our, for our cheddar and we supply all of the UK retailers and we also now export to 160 countries across the world. So sustainability is very much at the core of our beliefs. My grandparents always used to say that, you know, if you look after nature, nature will look after you. And that's very much how we've chosen to run the business. Um, it's all about our net positive impact and, and about preserving the beautiful countryside that you see around us and preserving that for future generations so that you know, in another 150 years you know, the local farmers and the people making cheese in Somerset can enjoy it as much as we do. We take milk in from, from up to about 300 local farms. Um, we're the only independent cheddar brand in the top 10 um, list of cheesemakers in the UK. 30% of our cheddar was exported to 160 countries. Uh, France is our biggest um, export market and then we're developing markets in India, China and the US. And we're finding that the US customers are really receptive to our green and sustainable messages. <laughs> So with our 100% green strategy, I was very keen that we could distill that into, um, into clear, tangible promises that we could give to our shoppers and, and, and the local community. And, and they encompass things like producing all of our own energy from renewable sources, which will save 20 million kilos of CO2 per year. And that's why we're really keen to put a visitor centre on site at our green energy plan so that we can have visits from school children, local farmers groups and, and members of the wider community as well. And I think to date we've probably had about 3,000 school children around the plant that are all fascinated with the fact that we can generate electricity from cow's poo. So the spent material that comes off of the AD plant is very rich in nitrogen, phosphates and potash so that it can be spread on the land when the plants are growing in the spring. And this has been a fantastic way for us to displace artificial fertiliser. And the target is to get the whole region using digestate from anaerobic digestion instead of fertiliser out of a bag, which is so bad for the environment. <laughs> For us to get this far and, and reach the finals and be able to tell our fantastic story about our sustainability mission in Somerset to people all across the world has been a fantastic honour anyway. So maybe if you look after nature, it really does look after you in this way. So you know, thank you for listening to our story and please vote for us.